Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Surge Outdoors Angling. Today's episode, we're up in northern Saskatchewan, my neck of the woods. And I'm, of course, I'm Travis Degenhart. We're fishing for walleye, and we're bottom bouts of swim baits. We're gonna land some great walleye guys. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. Fishing a new technique, guys. I hope you're ready for it. I will show you in a bit after we get this fish in. It's deadly. I've been using it for the past two years. Um, haven't seen anybody else on YouTube do this technique, guys. And as you can see, putting walleyes in the boat. It's unreal. You guys are going to want to stay tuned to watch this. doing here you might not even believe this but right there you guys know what that is <laughs> it's a paddle tail that's a Berkeley four inch chap swimmer on a weighted hook right there 330 second right gives it that paddle tail action and there's more to it guys I'll show you in a bit after I get rid of this fish Look at him. Nice little walleye. We're gonna put him in the tub. So this technique, guys, I've been using it on quite a few different lakes already. It's been putting fish in my uh, my live well. Um, I've been using it for about two years and trying to figure out what I can do with these swim baits, right? You know, guys are casting them and uh, catching fish, but in Saskatchewan, you got a lot of good size structure, humps and stuff when it gets to the end of the year. And uh, I wanted to figure out how I can bottom bounce these suckers. You know, get these baits in the face of those walleyes all the time, staying at the proper depth, right? And having them chase. You can pop them, you can, you know what I mean? Give them a little bit of action uh, with your rod as you're bottom bouncing. And uh, yeah, like I was saying before, I've been catching lots of walleyes doing this, you guys. Something you definitely gotta buy, try out, and uh, get in front of the walleyes where you fish. This isn't a pike, it's a big walleye. Holy. Guys, if this is a walleye, it's big. Oh. Remember, we only got one hook in them. Oh boy. Oh boy. If it's a pike, I want to catch him anyways. <laughs> multi-species bottom bouncing rig here guys or what this is a walleye I don't think it was because how it gale kicked and just started giving her butt you know a big walleye will fight man They'll, they'll run you too. Gotta remember I got a three ounce bottom bouncer so that's helping keep everything down. One hook in him, so he's probably, that bait is probably fully engulfed. If I see gold guys, I'm gonna get excited. 
real excited. I was saying before, I've never fished this lake before. Never even been on here. First day, new technique. Like, I don't know what else you say if this is a walleye, guys. Like, big pike. Holy crap. Whoa, jumped. Big pike, big, 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 big pike. <laughs> Just gonna hit spot lock. Might be able to try to land them this time. Yo, we're gonna try. That's a big pike. That pike would take a lot of glide baits, I'll tell you that right now. Snap your line. Woo! Northerner. Size this bike. Look at this thing. Give you a flyby. Look at the colors on this guy. It's a big bike. We're gonna let him go. I hate getting slimed. But that was fun. Man, if that would have been a walleye, wow. Now we gotta check the line. No, we didn't do nothing to that. Got one. Got another one. Catch fish. What we got going on here? Is this Saskatchewan greenback? Big old slime ball pike or a walleye? Eh? That's what a Saskatchewan greenback is. Pike. <laughs> On the patty. Paddle tail, nice. Paddle tail. You saw this good too. Yep. Another one. Look at this. Sneak this rod in here. Look at that. Just like that. Right there, guys. Nice. Nice scotch and walleye. Another one on the paddle tail. <laughs> Look at the colors. See this fish here. Great looking walleye. So guys, I'll show you exactly what I'm using here. I'm using VMC drop dead swim bait jigs, right? With a bait keeper, um, three odd hook, three thirty seconds weight. We're sticking it through our Berkeley Champ swimmer, 17 pound fluorocarbon with a three foot lead and a swivel. And that weight helps keep that bait upright, right? Otherwise, if you don't have a weight on this center of gravity, your bait's just gonna spin. 
and then I've got a rattle chamber stuck into the head of this bait to give it those rattles. And that's how we're putting these walleye in the boat today, guys. Another fish on. Need another pike. Like they'll just take it right out of the rod holder, guys. Just like bottom bouncing cranks. Paddle tail bouncing. Even when that bottom bouncer hits something along the bottom rocks, it'll make that, that plastic bait bounce a bit. And that rattle chamber that we put in there will just give it a shimmy. You basically got a better looking real life crankbait down there. you guys how they engulf this thing I put on a different color here champ swimmer look at that thing guys look at this right in the mouth single hook that's that three aught VMC right and you can reuse that plastic over and over right here's that walleye nice fish unreal the box it goes. As far as speed guys, I'm just doing the same thing as bottom bounce and crankbaits. That 1.2 mile an hour, you know, you can probably bump it up with these plastics. You don't gotta worry about breaking bills or anything like a crankbait. I mean, if you're, if you're catching fish doing 1.4, hey, right on, right? But for the most part, 1.2, steady paddle tail action, making that, uh, rattle chamber pop a bit you know give it the odd pop with your rod and uh, you'll catch fish I have no doubt you will catch fish doing this and like I said before three ounce bottom bouncer I'm in like 25 feet here you know and uh, make sure I'm getting down stand vertical medium rod seven footer I mean away you go yeah, we're going over some right now. Maybe I'll see if I can get them on the camera here. Right there. We're just hitting this hump at about 25 feet. And they're coming up out of deep water on top of this hump right typical um, end of season walleye fishing structure and if I can find structure man I love fishing it deep points off of uh, off of land out into the middle of the lake right um, humps deep steep breaks towards that end of August September October that's where you'll find me. Oh, I just had a bump. Here we go. Oh, bumped it. There we go, got him. No, off. Right, so you only got one hook, remember that, right? Hit it again. Hit it, I can feel them. Hit it. You know, you only got one hook to catch them, unlike like a crankbait where you got three individual trebles, right? So, I mean, I've been getting bumped a few times here or there. There, you just saw it bump, bump, felt them, bump, felt them. Then finally, right, they got to really commit and, and engulf that bait for you to snag them with that one hook, right? And with it being more realistic, I mean, they usually put it right in their mouth, right down the gullet. That's the tagline, right down the gullet. <laughs> this is a walleye. It's more, oh boy, oh boy. More northern Saskatchewan. Boy. Gold. 
Oh, he's gold. He's got her. Biggest one so far. Nice fish. Another nice scotch and walleye on the swim bait, guys. Right here, look at them. Beautiful gold. We'll stand that fin up there for you. Hey, just look at that beauty. Look at them. Great fish. Did we catch that guy on the fire tiger? Fire tiger champ swimmer. Four inch champ. Right here. Just like that. It's crazy, eh? Another one on, guys. I didn't even really mark that guy. Must have came from the side or he's right on bottom. I was not over any pods of fish or anything. There we go. again where's the champ oh he's even got something down in there too that champ see what else he's got in there that champ was right down in his gullet man look at that thing Another great looking fish. Right? Let that guy go. Welcome to Northern Saskatchewan. It's a nice great eater walleye. Catch them with the champ swimmers, guys. Bottom bounce and champ swimmers. Unreal. These the, I call them four inch, but they're 3.8 inch. Champs, right? Fire tiger, perch patterns work awesome. On the back, they don't tell you you can bottom bounce them though, so <laughs> that's where I come in. Show you guys how to use some of this stuff. Don't have to cast it, straight up bottom bounce it. Unreal technique. Back in Saskatchewan, throwing walleye in the boat, guys. Pretty sweet. Hope you use the technique. It's awesome. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to subscribe and until next time, see you guys in the water. Take care.